Um, hello, so continuing on doing problems of this week's contest 329. So the first problem is a pretty easy problem. We just get a, a number and what we want is basically to take each digit of the number and then um, alternate uh, the sign. So we start out with positive and then each one of them we alternate. So we start out with positive for five, negative for two and positive for one and then we add them up. Right, so that would be 5 minus 2, 3 plus 1 equal to 4. And here we just do 1 and then we alternate, so minus 1 and then we add 1. And so we end up with 1, right? Um, so pretty straightforward there. So that means we just need to, if we want to implement it here, what we need to do is we need to keep track of the sign so that we can alternate it. And sign we can represent it with just 1 and minus 1. And of course, we need to also, the result that we are going to return. Okay, and then we go through every ca um, every digit, so we can just go through it as a string, and for each character that would be a digit, and what we want to do is basically um, add up the sign multiplied by the number, and the number we can just convert the character to a string. So initially, this for example, in this case, this would be five, right? Um, because it would be one multiplied by five, and then since we want to alternate the string we need to multiply by minus one, right? This way, if it was if it was one before, it will become minus one. If it was minus one, we'll multiply by minus one, so it will become one, and again, and we will keep alternating like this, okay? So that's how we do it. Um, and then we, at the end, we just want to return the result. And so this will basically, the first time it would be five, and then we will make the sign be minus one, and then the second time it would be mi minus one multiplied by two, um, and then we multiply it by minus one, so it would be one. And you can see it's alternating fine. Um, so if I run this, submit, uh, that passes. Um, in terms of time complexity, this is O of n n being not the number itself, but the number of digits in the number. Um, so let's call it maybe O of m, m being the number of digits in the number. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this problem. It's a very easy problem. Uh, please like and subscribe, and see you on the next one. Bye.